You're tuned in to Ask the Master Auto Technician. Car questions? Get answers right now. Call 850-763-0555. James Auto Center. We fix it right. Guaranteed. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah. All right, good morning, everybody. This is James Morris. Welcome to our second half of our show, Ask the Master All Technician. On Thursday morning, I've got Brian Armstead. He, he gives our car reviews on, different, on the newer cars that are out there, whether no matter what they are, what, no matter if they're imported, no matter if they're American, no matter where they come from, he reviews them, gives you his unbiased opinion on the good, the bad, and sometimes the ugly. Brian, how are you doing this morning, sir? I'm great. I had a nice flight from Washington State. I'm back in Maryland. Oh, okay. And, uh, yeah, uh, had a chance to go out to Seattle, Washington, to uh, pretty much test drive the entire 2017 Volkswagen mm -hmm. lineup. Mm -hmm. But the featured uh, the featured model at the press launch was the 2017 Golf mm -hmm. All Track. Oh yeah. Now, if you were to think of All Track, uh, you probably would surmise that all four wheels are part of the motive force of the car. Yes. So, yes, James, to answer your question that you're about to ask me, mm -hmm. it comes standard with four-motion all-wheel drive. Wow. And it's the first all-wheel drive wagon for Volkswagen since 2008 when they last built the, uh, the Passat uh, all-wheel drive mm -hmm. wagon. i got to tell you, James, this one I think is going to be pretty hot. Now, wow. if you think about the four-wheel drive market, uh, what vehicle would you say dominates the uh, four-wheel drive market? If, if you're talking about the Northeast and North, Northwest, I'd say Subaru. Yeah, I mean, not, absolutely, good. absolutely. If you go up to, uh, when I was up in Long Island a couple of weeks ago for the Volvo and um, up in Connecticut earlier this year mm -hmm. for uh, Mercedes launch, that's all you see is yeah. Subaru, 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 yeah. Subaru, Subaru. Carl and I, the Woodwork. Uh, <laughs> They're, I'm everywhere. Sorry. They're everywhere. Subaru. We don't have them down here in Panama City hardly. We got maybe ten, uh, you know, ten in Bay County, the entire county. But if you go to the northeast or you go to the northwest, every other car is a Subaru. It looks like pretty much, including uh, in Washington State. So that's the they've got Subaru square in the crosshairs with this new 2017 uh, Volkswagen Golf All Track. Mm -hmm. So they've taken the Golf wagon and they've raised it up. Uh, they've raised it up 6.9 inches. Wow. And it's uh, up half, uh, just over half an inch versus the Gulf Sport Wagon. <clears throat> but basically 6.9 inches higher than mm -hmm. a, um, a regular Gulf. Mm -hmm. They've uh, included an off road driving mode. My, my voice is a little. Oh, high. I know you're. You pardon me. You're traveling. I got in at 2 a.m., so I'm a little struggling yes. a little bit here today. <laughs> uh, they've got an off road driving mode with hill descent control. Uh, that you add to the four-wheel four drive, all-motion, uh, four-motion all-wheel drive system. Mm -hmm. It's got a turbocharged 1.8-liter um, TSI, which is the direct injection mm -hmm. turbocharged engine. Wow. Produces 170 horsepower, 199 pound-feet of torque, and it uh, gets about 30 miles a gallon on the highway, which wow. is really That's impressive. impressive. That is impressive. Now... Now, on the, uh, on the press launch for this vehicle, they had us go actually off-road with this Golf All-Track. Okay. And we were doing things in the All-Track, <clears throat> pardon me, that I would normally do on a Land Rover or a Jeep mm -hmm. uh, trip or, you know, Mercedes G-Wagon mm -hmm. trip, you know, where we're, like, going through water and, and going through deep ruts mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, traveling for miles on gravel roads at, at pretty significant speeds. Mm -hmm. Uh, with this off-road mode, it controls all of the different parameters and then adjusts parameters on the um, electronic, uh, you know, tra uh, traction control mm -hmm. and, and uh, stability control system. So you can kind of hang the tail of a little wow. bit if you're on the gravel road. I had a chance to do a couple of donuts <laughs> on the gravel road. And I, <laughs> that sounds like fun. You know, it was a lot of fun, and I'd never done donuts in a car. It's essentially this is a tall car. Mm -hmm. you know, so it's a wagon. Yeah, it's a wagon. And... Um, yeah, you know, and whether wagons will ever regain the popularity that they had in the 50s, and 60s, and 70s remains to be seen. But I personally love a wagon because I love to drive. I, and now, you're a big guy, too. You need room. And I can fit. Yeah. I can fit in this car. Yeah. I mean, it, essentially becomes, it essentially becomes a four-seater with me at the wheel <laughs> because you do lose uh, one spot right behind the uh, driver's seat. But, um... 
you know, I have plenty of headroom. Mm -hmm. I've got ample leg room for my left leg. My, you know, my right leg, no matter what I drive, is always going to be cocked at a weird <laughs> angle to try to get my foot on the accelerator. All right. Uh, and even with a full panoramic sunroof, which is an option on the all track, I can sit up straight and I've got two inches of, uh, of headroom clearance above me. Mm, okay, that sounds reasonable. So, you got more headroom. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Now, the, uh, the four motion all track is, uh, is fully equipped. Standard, it's got a VTEX leatherette. It's got the all track logo on door sills and the center storage cover. Mm hmm. Heated front seats, washer, nozzles, and side mirrors, uh, a leather multifunction steering wheel, Bluetooth and USB, and a rear view camera. Ah. All kinds of safety features, including forward collision alert with automatic braking, adaptive cruise control, adaptive headlights, Ooh. front and rear parking sensors, and fully automatic parking, which is a feature I love. Oh, man. That's, that's available. I'm, I'm is, sorry? Is, is that for parallel parking on that one right there? Where it automatically parallel it's for parking? Parallel and for and for uh, for backing uh, into perpendicular space. Whoa! As well. Very good. Uh, so I mean, these are all options on the uh, on the all track, but the even fully option the car the car has the base price of just over twenty seven thousand dollars. It's got various trim levels to get you up to you know you can go all the way up to thirty three seven ten. <clears throat> For the all track SEL. And another key uh, point here, James, is that on every trim level except for the SEL, you can choose a manual transmission. You're kidding now, me. I know manuals are dying. I, I know they're dying. Yeah. And a little pe you know, people of our age group tend not to want to shift gears mm -hmm. anymore. But it sure was fun rolling the gears on this all track yesterday. I bet you it was. I mean, I was. I'm sorry. I, I bet you were. See, I thought standard transmissions went away in 2014. I thought they were gone. Oh, no, 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 no. BMW still has a number of them. Okay. Uh, let's see. Who else? Uh, I, I know Mini has uh, the, uh, manual transmissions. Okay. I believe the Corvette, the Corvette still has a manual okay. transmission option. Okay, good. So there are a few still out there. Porsche, so mostly the performance-oriented brands mm -hmm. are still, I mean, you know, I doubt that. Well, I'm sure they will, but BMW, I mean, they, their, their manuals are really popular. Okay. You know, people love to track these cars, and, you know, they, they love the uh, the manual option. Um, I would have to compare this very, very favorably to the uh, to the Subaru. As a matter of fact, I'd have to rank it higher because it has more luxury. It has mm. more of a luxury feel to it. The Subaru cars have certainly improved over where they were five or ten years ago, mm -hmm. but they still don't have that kind of luxe feel that mm -hmm. you want when you're spending thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars for, you know, and Subarus don't cost fifty, but thirty yeah. or forty thousand yeah. dollars for a fully loaded automobile, and that's where the Germans, particularly the Volkswagen Group, that's where they do it so well. Mm -hmm. You know, Volkswagen owns VW, Audi, Porsche, Bugatti, Bentley. Uh, 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 Lamborghini. I wow. mean, they have all of these luxury and high performance. <laughs> excuse me, high performance brands uh, to kind of peel off of. So, mm -hmm. you know, the VW has a lot of features that uh, Audi has. You know, it's not an Audi. It's no, it's not. I, no, I get it twisted here. Yeah, I've, I've been to the I've been to the Audi plant in Ingolstadt, Germany, and I've been to the uh, uh, Mercedes plant in Stuttgart. And but there, a lot of the technology is interchangeable. So the technology part, what I noticed back in the 90s, and I'm sure it's evolved quite a bit more, especially with the technology you're talking about. But the biggest thing is the the engineering quality of Volkswagen, and uh, it, they seem to be over-engineered in certain degrees. But it's over-engineered to the point that it's it's dependable. It's uh, got backups in it, so to speak. And that's the way Mercedes. And it's is. got. Speaking of dependable, the uh, first three years, 36,000 miles, uh, uh, um, or the warranty, mm -hmm. uh, the maintenance on the first three years and 36,000 miles is included okay, good. with um, with every new Volkswagen. It's called the Volkswagen New Vehicle Limited Warranty. I'm sorry. I, uh, I have misspoken that. That's just the powertrain That's warranty. the powertrain warranty. Yeah, they give a three-year, 36,000-mile powertrain warranty, and they give maintenance during that first three years, 36,000 miles, to so oil changes and things like that. And a five-year, 60,000-mile ah. powertrain warranty. Okay. New vehicle limited warranty is three years, 36,000 miles. Okay. 
but I don't see anything listed here as far as the uh, the um, the service. I thought that was the feature on all Volkswagen, so I have to. I, I don't I know. Double check on that one. Now, here's one thing I'm curious about because I just went back to a new technologies class. We had a new technologies class about the newer cars, and we've mm -hmm. all heard about heads up display where it, it puts on the head. You know, that's old technology, but they showed heads down display where if you're taking a car and you're going over a hill and you want to see what's below, down below the hill, you can actually the cameras are looking and you actually see the tops of the tires. And they call that, I call that heads down display. And it was, it was on your windshield. I'm going, man, the technology they're coming out with that's going to be standardized safety by the year 2018 is just incredible. These are things that we dreamed of when we were kids. And now they're reality. Well, if you recall, if you recall when we talked about the Volvo S90, yeah. a Volvo, one of Volvo's goals is no deaths yeah. or serious injuries in any of their cars by 2020. Yes. So... And Volkswagen has always been a leader in safety. I mean, my daughter's first car, when I bought her her first car, I had certain rules. It had to be a sedan. It had to have, uh, you know, airbags, front, side, rear, all over. And it had to have electronic stability control. Mm. So I was able to get a, a mint condition 2005 Volkswagen Passat that had everything that I wanted and a great price. Oh, yeah. And uh, the car was super reliable and uh, gave her great service. Uh, so VW, you know, you get safety. Uh, the Alltrack has a very unique style to it. It's raised up, as we talked about earlier. It's got body cladding that indicates this, you know, this SUV type mm -hmm. of or compact utility vehicle type of presence. Uh, it just looks good. It's got yeah. silver-capped mirrors on it, silver-capped roof rails. My favorite color is the, the red with the 18-inch uh, optional wheels. It really kind of pops and stands mm -hmm. out. I think VW is going in the right direction with this um, all-track. My test one had a base price of 32890 dollars mm -hmm. came in at 35705 uh, Drove great on the road. Uh, you know, powerful, great acceleration. Not mind-bending acceleration. But, but significantly, uh, you know, good good acceleration. Oh, yeah. When you put your foot in it, it goes. It responded. It, it goes. And and you're, you yeah. I understand a, you're carrying, uh, you know, a couple of hundred pounds extra with the uh, with the all-wheel drive system. Right. And a couple of hundred pounds extra with, with the Brian system. <laughs> no, the Brian, uh, <laughs> Brian seafood Armstead. <laughs> system, seafood and eat it system. So, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm overall, I'm very impressed with... Uh, with this VW, uh, the CEO of VW America addressed us. He talked about the whole Dieselgate scandal. Fifteen seconds. VW is committed to uh, to bringing themselves back. For more information, go to VW.com and check out the 2017 Volkswagen Golf All Track. Terrific car. Next week, we'll talk about something new and exciting for for 2017, James. Thank, thank you so much, Colin. I love this about the Volkswagen Alltrack. I'm looking forward to seeing more of it, more information about it coming up in the next few months. And, Brian, we'll talk to you again next week. I appreciate you calling every Thursday morning. Thank you so much, sir. Absolutely. All right. Bye-bye, everybody. We'll talk to you all tomorrow. James Auto Center. We fix it right. Guaranteed. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah.